Well, here we go, Andover, Minnesota, game three of our Elite League triple header. And we have a good one for you in game three at the 2012 age level. It's the Visiting Thieves and the Hometown Hockey. My name is Will Peterson. Good to have you back here for game three from Andover. We've had two good ones so far, both involving Hometown. In game one, the 2014 Hometown took down 20, oh, 2014 Boy, my memory can't be this bad. They just played the True North. There we go, True North. And then the 2011, ho 2011 hometown falls to 2011 True North. Now 2012s are underway. Hometown in white and blue skating from right to left. The Thieves skating from left to right wearing black and red. In goal for hometown. Number 74, Casper Abracta, and on the other side for the Thieves, number 35, Maverick Holtman. Both sides are playing their first Elite League games. A clean slate for both sides coming in at 0-0. Both looking to go 1-0 as we're underway. 13-20 to go. Nice move there on the far side by the D-man, Cullen Schultz. Now taken by Stickney for hometown. Chopped at at center ice. Now it's back around to the near side. Ferry sends it on. Rebound chance in the slot. Stickney's there. And French will control now. Down low for McKinnon. He's pinned there. Granlund will try to deflect it. Battle for it on the far side half wall. 12.33 to go here in the first. 2012 age level, our final game of the night. It's hometown and the Thieves. Game three of three from Andover. We will get our first power play of the game. And it will be the Thieves heading to the box. The offending party is Cullen Schultz, he heads off for tripping, 12.21 to go, the time of the penalty is 1.39. Cullen Schultz tripping, 1.39. So we will get a power play look for hometown, looking for an early advantage here. Preston Ryan goes back to get it, drops it off as Hometown looks to break it out here on the power play, near side, near center, held there by Rolf. Now Ryan, pitch and catch with Curran to the near side for Braden Cardinal. Lick will clear this one out. Ryan goes back to Gittle it after Obrachta settles it down. Rolf has it. Now this one is flipped up and they're gonna continue to play it as Abracta settles it down. 11.25 to go, minute five remaining on the Shulls, tripping minor. Arden reverses the field and going back to play it is Ryan. Up ahead, Colt Cruitt. This one sent down. No icing on the power play, so hometown will be forced to regroup with 11 to go in the first and 40 seconds on the man advantage. Short hand to look back, Boniface unable to center it out front. And now hometown again, Blake Nelson centers it. Battling at the feet is Waltke as he tries to get it through. Now Kapeski in there as well. The Thieves will control. Up the right wing side, it's Hudson Johnson. He's bumped off the puck as Wheeler will play it for hometown. Seven seconds remaining on the power play. One final push for the boys in white and blue. Kapeski gains the zone. Centers for Nelson. Both teams now at full strength as the Thieves will work back. Three on two look, and actually one will go off for a change, so negate that. Esser loses control into the corner. 
In there with Ferry. Now up to the point. A little pitch and catch. Hometown will regain. And Esser with it again. Enters the zone on the right wing side. Goes to work down low. Tied up there with Ferry. 9.48 to go here in the first. Scoreless between hometown and the Thieves at the 2012 age level. Stretch pass that time for Ferry. He's looking for Walt Gee. It goes too far. So we'll have icing with 9.40 to go here in Andover 0 0. Hometown and the Thieves on Youth Hockey Hub. Hometown wins the draw to the corner, intercepted. Now this one is sent across the crease. And I think Abrakta got a stick on it that time and poked it out. Lick loses control, stripped of the puck by McKinnon. This one is stretched out to the far side and losing control there, taken by Esser. Near the Thieves' bench. Lick with it. Battle for it near the scorer's booth there. And the Thieves with a dangerous stretch pass there that was poked at in the slot by Christian French. Now Granlund has it. For the boys in black and red. Johnson back. Tries to work it out front. He's upended. Just over eight and a half to go here in the first. Stretch pass. Here's Stickney. Tries to put a move on in the slot. And he gets sent down that time by Granlin. Another look for hometown. Centering pass. Unable to settle it down is Rolf. And the Thieves work back up the left side. Centered. Johnson. Toe drag up. High loss control. And now hometown. Some good up and down, back and forth pace here early in this one. Here's a shot that goes high. Curran got the goaltender Holtman to drop down, but was unable to find Twine up high. Now Wheeler is going to send this one. It's deflected up and out of play, but it will stay in the zone here with 7.56 to go. Right side, Wheeler sends a shot on. Pad save made by Holtman. He re redirects the rebound to his right side. Fall gets it up ahead for Lick. Long shot. Knocked down there by Abrakta, and he will cover the rebound. 7.30 to go. And the face-off will come to the blocker side now of Abrakta. Seven games across the state of hockey in the Youth Elite League tonight. Three here in Andover, three over in Champlain Park, and one at the TCO Sports Garden. We'll have nine more Elite League games tomorrow, 12 on Saturday. And the league will stretch all the way through into July. Some Good, good youth hockey here in Minnesota. On the near side, Thieves with it. Up ahead for Fall. Preston Ryan, the first man on that puck for hometown. 6.50 to go. This one sent up ahead. Ferry. We'll send it the distance. It'll be icing. 6.47 to go now. Face off in the hometown zone. It'll be on the glove side of Abrakta this time. Poked through on the draw. Johnson works it into the corner. On the near side, this one played ahead. Esser with it. Esser over the line on the left-hand side. Centering, Johnson shot, pad save made there by Abrakta. He's been tested quite a bit here early. The Thieves have had 
some good scoring chances, but Casper Brockta, number 74 in goal, has been stellar. Sharp angled look, stick save made by Holtman, rebound is cleared, not quite out of the zone, and now they do. Stretch pass for Esser is behind him, and he'll be taken back into the zone. Long shot, stick down there by Holtman. Now this one out front. Good clear by Granlin to the corner. Schultz will take it there for the Thieves. Johnson with it. Hudson Johnson works back, now it's Skinner. On his forehand. Leaves it behind. It's intercepted now and taken by Logan Stickney. French. Long shot is knocked down there by Holtman. Esser will take it for the Thieves. Stickney again. Played out to center, Granlund will go back to retrieve. Touch over five minutes to go here from Andover. Scoreless game. Schultz went for the change. He's gonna come back to help on the rush. Backhand luck there by French, unable to get a shot off. He'll just peel off into the corner. Now a pass in the high slot, intercepted. The Thieves work back. Shot sent that time by Risky will go wide. 4.40 to go now. Battle for it, near side half wall. Sent ahead. Janicki. Now Knox is gonna send it all the way around. Briefly held at the point, hometown works back, good look. Up high by Rolf, he's unable to get a shot off. Into the corner, now played up for Johnson. The Thieves with it. Into the zone, now back out. Thieves with control to the near side, played there by Arden. Up ahead, pass intercepted, Preston Ryan for hometown. For Cruitt, Cruitt backhand out in front, Arden will knock it down. 3.38 to go in our opening period. No score between hometown and the Thieves. McKinnon with it. Gives it up for Rolf, who sends a shot in, goes off for a change. McKinnon F1 on this four check, giving, him some, giving his teammates some time to make a change. Woltge going in on this one. Tangled up with Lick. 3.05 to go. Now is this one sent ahead. Thieves up the left side. Long shot, misses wide. Rebound is corralled on the near side by Ferry. Woltge up ahead. Tried to get Nelson out in front. Unable to do so. And now the Thieves work back once more. Johnson tries to put a move around his man. Works it into the corner. On his forehand, centering look is broken up. These will control once again. Shot sent on that time. Save made by Abrakta. Rebound to the near side. Up high for Granlin. Nice shot block there by Blake Kapeski. Forces the Thieves to work back. Hometown. Cutting back. Shot and beautiful save made there by Holtman. Blake Nelson bearing in on him. Holtman puts up the glove. Really just made himself as big as possible and Ended up making a nice positionary save with two and a half to go. Now down to 2.05. The Thieves with control, under two to play in the first. Knox with it, looks to clear, unable to do so. Skinner and Lick will hold for the Thieves. Lick knocks it down and sends it in. Thieves offside for a moment, they'll tag up. Playing it in his own end now is Wheeler. Stickney will turn and fire this one towards the Thieves bench with a minute 20 to go here in the first scoreless game between hometown and the Thieves. Now 
McKinnon with it. Drops it off right side. Shot. And this one is sticked down and then gloved by Holtman. 107 to go. Some good back and forth. Even hockey being played. We have had just one penalty. It went against the Thieves' hometown, unable to capitalize on the power play. That is the only... Notable event to occur thus far in this one. No scoring, just a lone penalty. Nice even back and forth game from Andover. Last minute of play here in the first. Working it below the goal line is Stickney. Janicki has some space on his forehand. Bearing inside. Tries to spin it around and send it out front. Tic-tac-toe, look, they score. Boy, it was Janicki breaking it into the zone. He dumped it off and then finally putting it home out in front. It was Hudson Johnson. First goal of the league for Johnson. 43 seconds remaining. In the period, makes the time of the goal, 13-13. Hudson Johnson goes top shelf on the rebound to make it a 1-0 game. Why well, I tell you these jerseys can be impossible to see the letters with the uh, obviously smaller numbers for a smaller jersey, but then oh, half these kids will wear them at least partially tucked, so hard to see Johnson's number nine. Regardless, it's his first goal of the season. And it gives the Thieves a 1-0 lead. Now as we will get a penalty, waning moments here of the first. It's going to go against hometown. So maybe a chance to add another one before the break. Holding the call. It's going to go against Preston Ryan. The time of the penalty will be 13-34. Ryan holding 13-34. Right off the draw. Hometown gets a clear. Thieves have not had a power play look. And we will have some significant carryover time into the second period, about a minute 35's worth. Now this one is pinballed around at the blue line. Offside signaled and called. Seven seconds remaining in the first period. And a minute 41 remaining on the man advantage total. Off the draw, the Thieves will play it in only momentarily. Two seconds now, shot, stick save made by Abrakta. And that will do it for our first period of play. So it's Hudson Johnson finding the back of the net with 47 seconds to go in the first period. Our lone goal, 1-0 Thieves over hometown after one on the Youth Hockey Hub. In life, we all need a little help to reach our summit. Whatever your summit looks like, it's easier to reach when your body is strong and healthy. At Summit Orthopedics, our team of highly specialized physicians listens to and values every one of our patients. We take a conservative approach to care to get you back to your healthy and active lifestyle. Reach your summit. Summit Orthopedics. Visit SummitOrtho.com to make an appointment today. Group of Lots and Lots of Pizza encourages the community pickup hockey game, honors the family that builds the neighborhood known backyard rink, salutes the passion utilizing a frozen lake to play a game that's loved, endorses the stardom early mindset to build contenders, acknowledges the grit, determination, and competition of the sport, and applauds the coach that demands the before the sun comes up outdoor practice. Group of Lots and Lots of Pizza supports hockey anytime, anywhere. Well, here we go. Second period of play just about ready to commence from Andover after 14 minutes of Youth Elite League hockey. It is 1-0 Thieves over hometown at the 2012 age level here on Youth Hockey Hub. Will Peterson welcoming you back from Andover. It's been a good one thus far. Very even, very back and forth. Good pace to the game up and down the ice as the clock has been reset to 14 minutes. We'll have a minute 34 of carryover power play time off a Preston Ryan holding minor. 
Hometown got the lone power play in the first period, unable to capitalize. The Thieves currently on their first power play of the game. Hometown, the home team will skate from left to right, wearing their home whites. Baby blue accents, dark blue trim. In goal for them, number 74, Casper Abracta. On the other side, the Thieves skating from right to left, wearing red and black. And in goal for them, number 35, Maverick Holtman. So here we go, 13.45 to go in the second. We are underway. One goal lead for the Thieves. Hometown looking to break out. Kapeski to the far side for Sawyer Knox. Now he feeds back for Wheeler. Mack will take it for the Thieves. This one is taken by Wheeler. He'll dump it in. Coming out of his cage to play it is Holtman. On the backhand, Ferry will play it. Reverses the field. Looking for Cardinal that time. Here's Lick for Boniface. Long shot. Blocker save made that time by Casper Abracta. This one sent the distance. Holtman will settle it with the stick behind the cage. 20 seconds remaining on the man advantage. Near side, it's Boniface. Over the line, pad save made on a long shot from the left point. Eight seconds remaining now on the man advantage. Just under 12 and a half to go here in the second. Hometown back at full strength. Grandland works inside, tries to get a shot off. Abrakta didn't know where that one went. I think it went off the side of the cage. As now we skate five side once again. The Thieves now 0 for 1 on the man advantage. Cardinal will send it in. Stretch pass. Broken up that time by Knox. The Thieves work up the left-hand side. Here's Esser. Cutting inside, score! Carson Esser goes top shelf over the blocker side of Kaspar Abrakta. Beautiful goal for Carson Esser. 11.46 to go in the second. It's 2-0. to zero. Time of the goal is 2.14. Carson Esser with a beauty streaking up the left-hand side and going top shelf. 2.14 into the second period, 2-0 Thieves. Schultz with it, Thieves looking for more. Risky with it behind the cage, centering look, big save made of Brockta, rebound out front, controlled there by Curran. Now he'll work up the left side. Hudson Curran, forced to the outside, centering pass, rebound look, and nobody knows where that puck is, it's in! Maverick Holtman unable to sit on the rebound. And breaking the line for hometown is Finn Rolf. So a quick answer for hometown hockey. Finn Rolf with the goal at 2.43 of the second. Again, 2.43, the time of the goal, 29 seconds apart. The Esser and Rolf goals. We are right back to a one goal game here from Andover. Left wing corner. Janicki up to the point. Held there. Long shot. Waffle boarded away by Abrakta. To the near side now. Rolf fans on the shot. And this one cleared down. Hometown will take it in the middle third. Janicki with it again. Janicki over the line. Lost control of the puck as he worked inside. Hometown will have a look back the other way. Sent into the zone briefly. Preston Ryan with it. Now fall into the slot. This one will go up. Above the goal. 10-10 to go now in the second. 
Ferry with it for Cruitt. Now up the middle, Nelson. Nelson and Schultz into the corner, 9.55 to go. Thieves with it up the left side. Sending it in that time, full. 9.41 to go here in the second. A 1-0 Thieves lead after one. And since then, they've traded goals just 29 seconds apart. It was a brief two-goal lead for the Thieves, but hometown gets an answer to make it 2-1. Shot out front, rebound, look, sent on by Waltke. A nice pad save made by Holtman. This one is rimmed all the way around. Nine minutes, break, look back the other way, and Johnson is knocked down there for the Thieves. Had a half step inside, but can't get a shot off. Nelson. Kapeski will send this one in. Battle for it, far side, half wall. Hometown comes free with control. Mack flips this one up. Boniface on the far side. Now we're going to get a whistle. And I believe we're going to get offside here. And we will. 8.34 to go face off near the Thieves bench. Knox with it. To the near side, French. They'll go to work for it in the near side corner. 8.15 to go here in our second period. Game three of three on the, day, on the day. Three of seven across the state of hockey, across the Metro this evening. As the Youth Elite League 2024 season gets underway. 7.55 to go now. Thieves working out. Grandlin to the far side. Lick at the right post. Now sent up high. Lick will have it into the corner again. Back around to the near side now. Esser. Working up the left side. Tried to get it across for Skinner. He ended up being offside, so he'll tag up. Thieves back into the zone. Grandland working in that time, and they're offside on the entry. 7.03 to go. We will pause and get a neutral zone faceoff. On the near side now, risky as the Thieves are working the offensive zone. Now Kern on the near side, working into the corner. Rolf down low. Thieves come free with it, 6.38 to go here in period number two. Esser now. To the near side, Risky. Shot! Score! Ezra Risky sends the shot on a Brock that got a piece of it with the glove but can't glove it cleanly. The Thieves with an answer. They send their lead back up. It's 3-1. Time of the goal is 7.43. Ezra Risky is first of the season, and it is 3 to 1. Now back the other way. Hometown looking for an answer. Nelson sends a shot wide. 
into the near corner. Thieves looking to break it out of their own end, having trouble doing so. Hometown with a good four check here. Chance for hometown down low, now up high. Cardinal will turn and fire this one back. Nelson. They're going to work for it in the offensive zone as hometown, now the Thieves back the other way. Johnson over the line, cuts into the slot. Rebound look, what a save there by Abracta sticking out the left pad. Might not have saved a goal directly, but there's a Thieve player right on the other side looking to tap in that backdoor pass. So good work by Abracta sticking out the leg, keeping this a two goal game. Under five to play. Thieves work back, here's Lick. Shot, stomach save made by Abracta. 4.47 to go. We will get a face off. It'll be to the blocker side of Abracta. Three to one, Thieves over hometown on Youth Hockey Hub. Off the draw, this one's played up high by Schultz. Tipped on its way in, goes wide on the blocker side of Abracta. Knocks with it down low. Rimmed along to the near side. Held there and now played up ahead. As it's McKinnon working in. He's bumped off the puck. Stretch pass too far to handle. Ferry back with it for hometown. For Curran. Return pass intercepted. Here come the Thieves. Boniface unable to get a shot off. Hometown will set back up under four to play in the second. Skinner with it. He is shouldered off the puck by Marshall McKinnon and that will be a penalty. I believe the call is roughing there. Time of the penalty is 10-10. So it is another power play look for the Thieves. They're 0 for 1 thus far. And if they're able to turn the tides at all, be a big, big three goal lead. So here we go again, 0 for 1 on the power play. It was a solid showing the first time around as they win the draw and set up shop. Long shot, rebound, loose at the right post. Still loose, turning and firing that one. And now, again, it slides across the goal mouth, but unable to get anything to go are the Thieves. Now a sharp angled look is saved by Abracta on the right wing side now. Johnson with it. Hometown works back. Esser for Skinner. Stretch pass broken up. Schultz will have it. Thieves enter the zone. Three minutes to go here in the second. Minute eight remaining on the man advantage. Shot is roofed up high. 250 now. Skinner. Right side. Give and go look. Back for Skinner across the crease, unable to put it home. Esser was waiting for the return pass that time. Skinner sends one on. It goes wide. 235 here in the second. Held at the point by Skinner. Near side Schultz. He'll work it to the left dot. Shot, rebound. Oh, sends it just high. Esser had some space up high, but skies it over the net. Still a two goal game. Skinner shot from between the circles is seen all the way by Abracta. He will make the save once again. 2.15 to go, 25 seconds remaining. On the power play for the Thieves, they lead it three to one. Risky to the point. Mack 
Long shot off the post. Rebound into the slot between the dashes. Hometown will get a much needed clear. Kapeski weaving it into neutral ice. Now here's Ferry. Waning moments of this power play. And now Hometown returns to full strength. Thieves 0 for 2 on the power play today. Cruitt down low. Arden. Over the blue line, now he's tripped up on the half wall. Into the high slot. Janicki trying to get around his man. And it deflects free to the near side, taken by Walt Gee. Cruitt sends it in. Final minute of play here in the second period. 3-1, the Thieves lead. Arden with it. Looks to clear. He's able to do so. Icing is called. 44 seconds to go here in the second. We'll get a face-off in the Thieves' end. It'll be to the glove side of Holtman this time, who has been very good in this one. Just the one goal allowed here through nearly two minutes of play. There's been a number of good hometown chances that he has shut down from the get-go. Fall with it. Weaves into the slot. Beautiful moves. Now a rebound look for Boniface, and he falls to his knees before he can get a shot off. Hometown with under 20 to go. Woltke lost it that time. The Thieves with the look back the other way. 12 seconds, Boniface in with Johnson. Boniface across the crease, sprawling save made, rebound loose. Six seconds now into the slot. It's controlled there by Woltke. And that'll do it for our second period of play. Some frenzied offensive activity late in the third. The Thieves add two in the frame. Hometown adds one. It's three to one after two periods of play here on the Youth Hockey Hub. In life, we all need a little help to reach our summit. Whatever your summit looks like, it's easier to reach when your body is strong and healthy. At Summit Orthopedics, our team of highly specialized physicians listens to and values every one of our patients. We take a conservative approach to care to get you back to your healthy and active lifestyle. Reach your summit. Summit Orthopedics. Visit summitortho.com to make an appointment today. Group of Lots and Lots of Pizza encourages the community pickup hockey game, honors the family that builds the neighborhood known backyard rink, salutes the passion utilizing a frozen lake to play a game that's loved, endorses the stardom early mindset to build contenders, acknowledges the grit, determination, and competition of the sport, and applauds the coach that demands the before the sun comes up outdoor practice. Brew Pub Lots and Lots of Pizza supports hockey anytime, anywhere. We welcome you back here from Andover, getting ready for a good finish to this one. After two periods of play, it is the Thieves 3 hometown one at the 2012 age level of the Youth Elite League. Will Peterson back on the call for Youth Hockey Hub. How did we get to this point, you ask? Well, let me tell you a story. Started off Hudson Johnson scoring with 47 seconds remaining in the first period. For the Thieves, 1-0 at the break, Carson Esser. Made it 2-0, just 2-14 into the second. Finn Rolf with nearly an instant answer for hometown 29 seconds later. And then Ezra Risky at 7.43 gives the Thieves their two-goal lead right back. And that is where we stand heading into the third period of play. We've had three power plays in the game, zero power play goals. Thieves are 0 for 2, hometown 0 for 1. Hometown will work from right to left in this third wearing their home whites. The Thieves will work from left to right wearing their red and black. Both sides return their goaltenders for hometown to Brockta. For the Thieves, it's Holtman. 
Well, here we go for the third period of play, final 14 minutes of hockey that we bring you today from Andover, our third of three games of the Youth Elite League. Finishing off with this good 2012 clash. Thieves with it. Lick working around his man. Wheeler. Skinner. Tries to go up high blocker side on a Brockta, but sends it a bit too high. Down the right wing side, hometown unable to get anything to go. Thieves work back. Here's Esser. On his forehand, pad save made that time by Abrakta. Esser will regain the rebound in the right side. McKinnon with Skinner. Now Curran works up the right-hand side. Curran into the high slot. Pad save made, a rebound on the backhand is smothered by Holtman. 12.31 to go, hometown looking to get back into this one. It's 3-1. to one. Draw is won by the Thieves. They look to break out. Rolf with it on the far side. Rolf again, centered out front. Unable to get the shot off is McKinnon. Thieves back. Johnson, shot. Blocker save made by Abrakta. Rebound swept away by hometown. It's French with control up the right wing side. Leaves it for Cruitt. Colt Cruitt over the line. French with it now. Christian French up high. Out in front, score! Finn Rolf, his second of the game, putting the team on his back, 11.44 to go. We have a one goal game. Two sixteen into the third period of play, Finn Rolf, second of the game, and it is back to a one goal game here between the Thieves and hometown. Lick with it on the far side for the Thieves. Looking to get it right back, sends a shot on. And that one got a Brock up on the shoulder. He's able to get it down to ice level and cover up. 11.33 to go. So a good, quick answer for hometown. It comes courtesy of Finn Rolf, second of the game. Three to two. Waltke with it. Lick now. In the corner for Shawls. Down low, held there by Wheeler. Out front, this one swept away. And Waltke will reverse the field for Stickney now. Granlin with it. Granlin still in the mix with Lick. Couple white jerseys in there as well. 10.45 to go in third. A little ring around to Rosie with the puck right there. Able to escape with it. The Thieves as they work up the right side. Boniface. Boniface has a man. Gets it through to him. It's caught in his feet. And Shells is unable to get a shot off. Held on the far side. Finally, with some control, McKinnon will settle it down. Works up the right wing side as his teammates go for the change. Loses an edge as he backhands it towards the goal. Holtman will steer it aside. Boniface. Now Skinner for Johnson. 
Up the middle, right hand side shot, save, rebound out front. And this one is cleared by Hometown. It'll head the distance and we'll have icing 9.41 to go. A good one late here, 2012 age level, Thieves over Hometown Hockey. Face off, one cleanly by hometown. Kapeski wins it. Now here's Ferry. Ferry works it down low, sends it out front. Save made by Holtman. Kapeski with it. Into the corner. Tries to get it back up top. Knocked down there by the Thieves. They'll work back the other way. Skinner on the right side. Banks it to himself, regains, drops it for Esser. Hometown will rim it all the way around. Mack is able to hold before it clears. Played up ahead. Now here's a chance, far side, Esser centers it. Johnson, Johnny on the spot, score! Hudson Johnson once again, he scored the first goal of the game. Now he has a second, cleans up. Some loose change out in front, second of the game. 8.50 to go here in the third, it's four to two. Time of the goal, 5.10, it's four to two, your score. Hudson Johnson is second of the game. And the Thieves have their two goal lead right back. Janicki with it. For Arden, long shot and a stomach save made by Abrakta as he absorbs that one. 8.34 to go now, face off in the hometown end. Lick with it down low. Thieves looking for another extra insurance goal. As they have a Two goal lead here late in this one, 8.20 to go. Hometown, Wheeler centers it, sticked by Holtman. Now Arden dumps it back down. Back the other way, glove save made by Abrock does he had Man bearing in on him, Lick out in front, his shot deflected wide. Janicki will control in the far side corner. Janicki, near side risky, tries to go tic-tac-toe for Lick, and that one went right through his skates. Schultz, and this one is deflected up and out of place. 7.32 to go, just past nine o'clock local time here in Andover. Four to two, Thieves over hometown late. We'll get a true neutral zone face off at center ice here. At the Andover Community Center, beautiful facility here in the North Metro. Fall with it for Boniface. He's bumped off the puck. Hometown will look to break out the other way. Wheeler's unable to settle down a stretch pass. Schultz will take it again. Stickney up ahead for Nelson. Now here's Wheeler working it all the way around. Actually, I believe that's Waltge. Down low. Now to the point, long shot. It's tipped out in front that time by Stickney. It'll go wide. Six and change to play here in the third. Granlund working back for the Thieves. He's tripped up and crashes into the boards, able to get back to his feet. Hometown will try it once again. Knox, shot, 
Got just a piece of it as Holtman. Believe it was going to go wide anyway. Now Johnson up the right side. Nice move around his man, but the back checking Sawyer Knox was able to get a stick on at that time. Hometown again, here's Ferry. Centers, nobody home on the other side, crashing it off of the redirect is Rolf. Down low. Cruitt weaves his way around a few men. Centering pass is deflected before he can get to his intended party. Wheeler on the near side. Icing is going to be signaled here. Won't go far enough. 5.20 to go now. Wheeler will dump this one in. Mack plays it for the Thieves. Skinner. Down the far side on his forehand shot. Stick save made by Abrakta. Under five to play here late from Andover. Two goal lead for the Thieves. Mack, up high, shot, save made, rebound, try. And now we have a skirmish in the crease. 4.47 to go. Getting late here in Andover. It's four to two. It'll be Lick and Kapeski on the draw. Ryan will rim it to the far side now. Stretch pass goes off the skate of Kapeski. Now Arden. Esser. Arden up high. Long shot. Save made by Abrakta. Now up ahead for Ryan. Ryan with it for Cruitt. Long shot is sticked down that time by Holtman. Four to play here for Andover. Johnson centering pass. Esser works back. Now hometown up the left wing side. Kapeski sends it down low. Cruitt will take it on the far side. Johnson will swoop in for the Thieves. Three and a half to play. Janicki over the line on the forehand. Working inside. Now going to try to beat him on the wraparound and just barely did not do so. Well, that one went off the pad of Abrakta, slid over to the post, and then Abrakta able to cover it up. 3.20 to play. Good look there for the Thieves, but unable to add on another insurance goal. Still a two-goal game. Johnson far side corner. For Shaw's up high. Hometown back the other way. French on his forehand. Slides it across the goal now. If nobody home on the other end, Janicki will take it for the Thieves. Long shot. Saved by Abrakta. Rebound cleared. Taken by Cardinal, who goes glassing out. Janicki with it again. Over the line, here's Ferry, long shot, save made by Holtman. Two and a half to play, we'll keep an eye on the hometown goal. Janicki, boy, he had two skaters out in front of him. They could have had a three on O if he would have been able to weave that one through. Now 2.15 to play, this one is sent down. Ferry will go back and retrieve for hometown. Oh, just over two minutes left in a two-goal game. Again, we'll keep an eye on the goaltender, Abrakta. 
And there he goes as Hometown tries to establish possession in the zone. Once again, the net is empty. Fall working back. Stood up in the neutral zone. Boniface battling for it. Six on five hockey here. A minute 40 to play. They're offside. Hometown offside as they entered. Nelson, the offending party that time. 140 to go. Exactly 100 ticks remaining from Andover. Two goal lead for the Thieves. Six on five hockey. Don't go anywhere. Puck play to the far side. Hometown. Woltge. Working in. Battle for it up high. They managed to clear. Icing signaled, and neither side can beat it. So we'll get a whistle with 1.14 to go, and a timeout taken by hometown. So while they talk things over, we will send you to break when we return 74 seconds of five on six on five hockey rather here from Andover. Matzo matzo pizzas are made in the heart of America's dairy land, Kakana, Wisconsin. Every brew pub pizza is made with the highest quality meat and veggie toppings. Them bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. Snag a slice of brew pub pizza at the concession stand or enjoy a whole pizza conveniently located in the frozen pizza section of your local grocery store. Brew pub, lots and lots of pizzas, the ingredients for a great time. Generally speaking, water is a better fluid to use to rehydrate with. A big part of the importance of hydration is hydrating before the race rather than during the race. So, you know, the hydration before a long distance race in particular really starts the day before the race, probably almost 24 to 36 hours before the race to be completely hydrated. Well, here we go. Final 74 seconds of hockey here today from Andover Community Center. Our final game of a triple header for the Youth Elite League hometown. And the Thieves, Thieves with a 4-2 lead here late. And the net is empty for hometown. So some six on five hockey here late. Hometown just took a timeout to talk things over. We'll see if they get rewarded here with a late goal. Ferry up high. Lost control of it. Skinner for Johnson. Johnson fires at the empty net and hits the post. So we'll play on. One minute now remaining in the third period. Hudson Johnson had a chance to seal the game and secure a hat trick. We play on. Christian French into the zone. Backhand feed out front. 47 seconds to go now. Battle for it near side corner. It'll be blown dead as the officials say. The puck was frozen. 42 seconds now remaining in the third. The faceoff will be to the blocker side of Holtman, who has been very, very sharp in this one for the Thieves. Off the draw, shot out front, loose in the crease. Holtman covers. Maverick Holtman shuts the door and checks the lock. 35 seconds to go. Another blocker side faceoff. Off the draw, Arden will take it for the Thieves. Looking to rag it into the corner. Hopefully get a clear. This one is held. Now down low, here's a shot. Save made by Holtman, who will cover. Maverick Holtman standing tall under pressure here late. 21 seconds to go. This faceoff will come to his glove side and... Unless hometown can get one going really quick off the draw here, this one is looking like a win for the Thieves. Mack into the corner. He'll hold it there. 14 seconds now. Hometown comes free with it to the point for Preston Ryan. Long shot. Knocked down in the slot. Esser with it. Three seconds now, and that will do it from Andover. 
the Thieves with a big win to open up the Youth Elite League. They take down hometown 4-2. Hudson Johnson with a pair of goals. Ezra Risky and Carson Esser pitch in a goal each as well. Solid, solid goaltending from Maverick Holtman, and that is a recipe for a Thieves win. Thieves open up the Elite League with a win. They move to 1-0. Hometown falls to 0-1. Hometown 1-2 on the game. On the day, they won their first game played at the 2014 age level and fell in the 2011 and 2012 age levels. So that's going to do it for a pretty great day of hockey here from Andover, the entire YHH cast and crew. My name is Will Peterson. We thank you for tuning into the Youth Elite League. Good night from Andover. Some matzo pizzas are made in the heart of America's Dairyland, Kakana, Wisconsin. Every brew pub pizza is made with the highest quality meat and veggie toppings. Them bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. Snag a slice of brew pub pizza at the concession stand or enjoy a whole pizza conveniently located in the frozen pizza section of your local grocery store. Brew pub, lots of matzo pizzas, the ingredients for a great time. Generally speaking, water is a better fluid to use to rehydrate with. A big part of the importance of hydration is hydrating before the race rather than during the race. So, you know, the hydration before a long distance race in particular really starts the day before the race, probably almost 24 to 36 hours before the race to be completely hydrated, 